go to the center of the ring and the ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Actions. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the Illinois hitting Jeff Pagese. Out of 26 wins, four losses and one draw. Mercer. By what you see here. Yeah, you'll look at him and we've been mentioning his weight, you know, at 229. I mean, this guy was amongst the elite the heavyweight. He was uh, also stopped by Willie Williams in Mount Pleasant. He made a good finisher. If he got you hurt, you were oh. sure to be good. Oh, that was tainted. Nice combination. Uh, champ. Oh. He's got pretty decent trouble. Yeah, he's a big right hand. Jurial problems. Uh, he has been very inactive. Uh, he may still be feeling the effects. Yeah. He was with a starch out of Pagis. He followed a lift set in the whole yeah, decade no, no, no. of the 90s that perhaps Ray right. Mercer had. Not a lot of macho left in macho. Totally concentrated. You jump right on him, and it makes for a short night. Still has that great jab. And right to work, too. He wasted no time in your body, not realizing the tip head is Pagis says his best punch is the right cross. There's a cut over the left eye now of uh, Jeff Pagis. Yeah, no, he's, he is a good guy. For a 10-minute slot in an interview, talk about... Well, at least Pagis trying to... On the eyelid. Yeah. When it's going to be over. Uh oh. I can't blame Ray Mercer for that. No, not at all. The no. geese didn't need to take that one. And so if you are if you were cognizant of it, it really smells time for a young fighter. Yeah, he, no, the way he landed too he a little bit. Stay a little bit closer. There's the right way. And boom. Oh. Yeah. There's the right hand that knocked him down, but the Tito Rodriguez, the referee, needed to step in uh, at least one punch hit Perret. Uh, tragedy. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon. Ray Mercer. Right. He's going down there. See how he's hooked up in the rope, but the referee...